Hey, I'm Davis Hammer with Loud Light. Here's what happened the ninth week in the Kansas State House. Tuesday, there was a Medicaid expansion protest that led to a blockade in front of the Senate chamber doors. While the action occurred, many senators used alternative entrances, but videos show what appears to be Senator Rucker pushing over a disabled man, then scolding him after security helped him up. Over 20 Kansans were detained and held before being released with their information forwarded to the district attorney. The Sumner County Hospital in Wellington abruptly closed on Thursday. Local officials cited financial difficulties in part from all the uncompensated care associated with the state's lack of Medicaid expansion. The area is represented by Senator Larry Alley, an opponent of expansion. Residents will now need to travel 35 miles to Wichita for emergency care. This week, Kansas had its first death from the novel coronavirus COVID-19. The Wyandotte County man who died was in his 70s and had not traveled meaning the disease is now community spread. In response, Governor Kelly declared a state of emergency. President Trump has also declared a national state of emergency. These declarations allow additional government resources to be mobilized, grant certain powers, put the state's price gouging laws into effect to prevent profiteering off the pandemic, and the state house was locked down to only legislators and people with official business. Colleges across the state are extending spring break and transitioning classes online. Many counties are shutting down K-12 school for at least two weeks. Sporting events and other gatherings are being canceled, and in some places, large gatherings are being banned. You may be wondering why the government is taking such strong actions on COVID-19 when its symptoms are similar to the flu. People have dealt with the flu for many hundreds of years have natural defenses to it, vaccines that create barriers to its spread, and we usually know we have the flu two days after getting it. COVID-19 is a unique virus. We don't have natural defenses to it, we don't have a vaccine for it, and it appears most people don't show symptoms until they have had it for five days. It's not the flu. It's a new virus that exists in addition to the flu. The government's goal right now is slowing the disease's spread to prevent the health system from being overloaded. The reason some of these measures are so broad is that we do not have the testing capacity to know exactly where the disease is, and we do not have the hospital capacity to handle a big spike in cases among immunosuppressed and elderly populations. State legislatures across the country have begun adjourning early. The only thing the Kansas legislature must do before leaving is pass a budget. The Kansas House came together in a stunningly unified effort to extend the governor's emergency declaration through the end of the year and set aside differences to pass a basic preliminary budget. Meanwhile, the Senate left early for the weekend and did not return, despite pleas from the House to negotiate the budget over the weekend. There are a lot of big hearings scheduled for next week. But given the pandemic, it's expected most legislators want to pass a budget as quickly as possible and adjourn. If that happens, the legislature will likely come back in May for an extended wrap-up session to finish state business and tweak the budget. Thanks for liking, sharing, and contributing. Stay tuned, stay engaged, stay clean, stay away from any unnecessary social interactions. And until next time, thank you so much, Kansas. <laughs>